go. All right, yeah, um, there's a little bit of confusion about the difference between a mistrial and dismissal. The judge today, Navarro, found grounds for a mistrial. Mistrial can mean that the indictment still exists, okay? The indictment hasn't gone away, and she did set new trial dates for potentially another trial. So they could potentially retry the same group with the same indictment. Dismissal means end of the indictment, okay? And without prejudice would mean they can go and bring up a new indictment. With prejudice means that it's over. They can't, under, under double jeopardy grounds, uh, they can't really bring up a new uh, indictment at all. In fact, the, the, when double jeopardy attaches is when the jury is sworn in. The jury was sworn in. So double jeopardy would attach at this point, meaning that if the judge finds on, well, the, we're, we're, all the lawyers are going to respond by uh, January 28th with briefs about whether or not this case should be dismissed with or without prejudice. Obviously, the defense will argue with prejudice that it's so willful, the violations, the Brady violations were so willful by the prosecution that it was really on the, pr the prosecution's fault for the mistrial, which means it will be with prejudice, and that will not, not just be a mistrial with prejudice, that would be, in my opinion, a dismissal of the case, and that would be with prejudice because the jury was sworn. So in the middle of a jury trial, there were these violations, the jury was sworn in, and the Fifth Amendment Double Jeopardy Clause requires that no person shall be twice put in jeopardy, meaning that the case will be over if the judge declares uh, dismissal with prejudice. How, how that will that affect the uh, the next round and the previous round trials? Uh, you know, the next group of guys, the so-called Tier 2 group, they're free as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they're free on several arguments. Number one, speedy trial arguments. They've been demanding speedy trial you know, for almost a, almost two years, they could get out. They could get the whole thing dismissed with re, with regard to themselves on speedy trial grounds. In addition to these Brady trial, these Brady violations. But in my opinion, the group that's in that next group of men to be tried are free, completely free. And the previous guys? These current set of guys are still. Remember, Cliven's still in custody yeah, right now. Yeah. Still locked up. Uh, they still are f facing at least potential or, or conceptual uh, retrial in February, but you know we're obviously going to push and uh, we're, we're we're going to uh, the lawyers are going to argue that it should be dismissed with prejudice and it should be over completely. Good. Thanks, Roger. Uh, founder of Lysander University, Roger Roots, and uh, quite a long list. You have a PhD. You're a, a lawyer and lawyer and a doctor and a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your highest duty is, and I quoted you a little bit in, in uh, shorten it all. Liberty. My client is liberty. That's right. And your highest duty is to challenge governmental authority gone bad. Uh, so the love, the every, leviathan. If I every lawyer's highest duty. Yeah. Thanks, Roger. Thanks, Linda. Okay, cut. <laughs>